I'm going to be taking quite a long break um, to write the second album. And I wanted to take some of the tracks that I'd written over the year while we were touring and give the fans like four more tracks they'd never heard before. They're all different. Like with Better Half of Me, I wrote... I wrote the first verse at like four o'clock in the morning in a hotel room in, it was either Berlin or Amsterdam. I can't remember which one. Uh, and then I finished it off in a studio in London with a guy called Cam Blackwood and Joel Potts. And you know, something to believe in. I did it in Manchester with a guy called Simon Aldridge. Um, Be Myself I wrote ages ago. I wrote it when I was maybe like 22, when I first got into the music industry. So I was kind of excited to put that on the album because people had asked, we used to play it live and people were asking about it. So it's totally different from for every song. Like sometimes I start with just the lyrics. Sometimes I start with a melody. Sometimes I've got like a drum beat on the computer and I'll write a guitar thing and then write over the top of that. Like I've not kind of found like the ideal way or the, I guess the recipe to write a perfect song. I just kind of do it differently every time. Because although if you do it the same way every single time, everything's gonna sound the same and that'll be boring. So I try and mix it up as much as I can. I guess a bit of everything, you know, a lot of it is my fiance Annie. Like I wrote about seven songs in two weeks about her and then decided that I needed to get a life. Because uh, that's, you know, I just kept writing every single song about her. And then there's a lot of songs about my friends, whether they've been having good times or they've been struggling. There's a lot of songs about me and how I'm feeling throughout the year and on tour and, you know, some of the challenging things that we've had to do this year as, as a team. And I guess that the inspiration for it is just like what's going on in, in my life and the people who are around me. A lot of it's, you know, inspired by my family as well. So there's a whole host of different things that go into, into the songs. Rudimental um, came to us and and asked if we wanted to feature on on one of their tracks. So I, I went out to America and, and finished off um, Walk Alone with a producer called Jesse, Jesse Shatkin. Um, that was an amazing experience. You know, we, we played with Rudimental at Alexandra Palace in London, which was incredible. And I did a, a song with Zara Larson, which was really strange because we didn't really do it together. But like, I had finished off kind of half of this song and she came in and heard it and really loved it so decided to do like another another verse on it and we um and then later on we got together and did a couple of live performances so yeah it's it's not been like getting in a room with these artists and try and write something from scratch because I guess there just hasn't been time but the, a lot of the collaborations has kind of come together whenever we've had a spare moment which has been really fun but I guess I'd probably look at doing it a different way around the second album. I'd love to write a song with Maverick Sabre because he's done a lot of collaborations with a bunch of amazing, both really established and up and coming artists. And he's one of my favorites. And there's also, um, there's a woman called Yeba, an artist, and she's absolutely fantastic. Like I really love what she's doing. She's featured on a bunch of different um, stuff, both established and kind of coming through. And, and I think she's just absolutely fantastic. One of the best verse, uh, voices I've ever heard in my life. So. Those are two artists that I'd love to try and get in with at some point next year. That'd be really cool. I've not really made any plans. Um, I feel like the last year, as everything's been like, this is happening this day and we're doing this on this day and, you know, release dates and targets and all this kind of stuff. And I've not made any of that next year. I just want to write a bunch of amazing songs and try and make a really great second album. I don't want to... I don't want to put too much pressure on it because I think that would be a bad idea and I don't want to set loads of loads of un unrealistic deadlines for to have to follow. So people are going to get the album when they get it, basically. <laughs> it's going to go with the flow. Like I'm, I'm taking a good bit of time off in January. I'm going to delete everything on my laptop and just start completely fresh for the second album and just not let any of the past influence it. Just kind of try and live in the moment for it. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Thank you.